Hi and welcome to the second season of Regulatory Radio. I am Neha Ahuja and you're listening to the third episode of Regulatory Radio where we will be talking in brief about the advertising laws in regulated and semi-regulated regions across the globe. Today we are looking at a European country, Lithuania. One of the three Baltic countries of Europe, the regulatory authority in Lithuania is the Ministry of Health. The Ministry of Health in Lithuania has not mandated an approval for the advertising and promotions of medicines. However, the pharma companies must adhere to the general regulations by the Ministry of Health. The authority reserves the right to review scientific material post the launch of an advertisement and ask the pharma companies to retract the advertisement if the Ministry of Health is not convinced. The Lithuania Ministry of Health has two associations. One, the Innovative Pharmaceutical Industry Association, which represents the manufacturers of innovative medicines. And two, the Pharmaceutical Manufacturers Association, representing manufacturers of generic medicines. Both the associations must follow the approved code of ethics for pharmaceutical marketing as relayed to them by the Ministry of Health. In a moderately regulated space, understanding the definitions set forth by regulatory bodies and staying compliant to these descriptions will save the pharma companies' retractions and reworking of the information. Advertising of medicinal products is defined as creating targeted information to influence decisions for promoting the sales of medicinal products. These promotions can be undertaken by an advertiser, manufacturer, intermediary or promoter of a medicinal product. Comparative advertising, while permitted in Lithuania, is regulated by the soft law as described by the Code of Ethics for Pharmaceutical Marketing. This soft law dictates that comparative advertising must not be misleading or mocking in its nature. Any advertised materials to the public cannot make claims to work better or the same as other medicinal products or treatments. All comparisons of medicinal products must be based on relevant and comparable aspects and publish scientific proof. The promotion of medicinal products to HCPs is aimed at making vetted information accessible to the population. Any advertisements of the medicinal products targeted at the HCPs must capture a summary of product characteristics which should match the claims that are being made in the advertisement, the name, strength and pharmaceutical form of that medicinal product, its API, dosage and route of administration, and the therapeutic indications, except if it is a homeopathic medicinal product without approved therapeutic indications. In Lithuania, while arranging for the attendance of scientific meetings for HCPs, the pharma companies can only sponsor for the travel, accommodation, catering expenses and registration fees for these events. When it comes to marketing to the end consumers, the regulations are a little more strict. The Ministry of Health dictates that a medicine product must be advertised in such a way that it is clear that the product advertised is a medicinal product. Any information about properties of medicinal products must be presented objectively and a rational use of drugs must be encouraged. The Ministry of Health dictates that it is prohibited to advertise drugs that contain psychotropic or narcotic substances or are contained in lists of controlled narcotic and psychotropic substances as approved by the Ministry of Health. It is also prohibited to advertise prescription drugs except in certain cases such as vaccination campaigns. And the distribution of free samples to the public is also a strict no-no by the Ministry of Health in Lithuania. Lithuania is an upcoming and promising market space for a lot of pharmaceutical manufacturers. Advertising is a subjective space and this semi-regulated market offers room for experimenting with multiple advertisements for medicinal products. The downside is the possibility of a retraction due to the intervention of Ministry of Health post the launch and marketing of a drug, which can be quite expensive. 
a thorough review of the advertisements and promotions for overall compliance will go a long way in supporting your advertising efforts in Lithuania. This brings us to the end of our third episode of Regulatory Radio. We are halfway through our season. Thank you again so much for tuning into our podcast. We look forward to bringing you our next episode where we discuss the ad promo laws in the United Kingdom. For any queries related to the Lithuanian region, feel free to reach out to us in the comments section. You can also listen to the previous episodes by clicking the link pinned in the description box. Thank you so much for listening and see you next time. Thank you.